Good morning, everyone. Hope you all having a good day. It is currently 47 degrees today. And if you're from New England, you know that that's a beautiful, gorgeous day. Sun's out, no more snow. Well, hopefully there's no more snow. It's March, March 11th today. So spring is only like, what, 10 days away, 11 days away. Hopefully we have no more snow in the forecast. And spring can come quick. We're currently heading to the gym. Wow, here in West Hartford, Connecticut, where today I'll be recording my workout for you guys. Um, it's, it's gonna be a chest and tricep day today, along with some abs. We gotta do some cardio too, because yesterday we were supposed to do cardio, but we never got to it because we had to get some studying in for an exam I had earlier today. But that's all right. School comes first. School is the most important. It's very important to get educated, so we gave up the day for cardio to get some extra studying in, but we can always make it up today. It's so beautiful out, like you can have the windows down. I don't even know why I'm wearing the sweater because I'm actually sweating right now. But yeah, it is absolutely gorgeous out today. We like to have some fun sometimes, do a couple of pulls. That was actually a pretty hard pull because my phone flew off the, the center console. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit at the gym and keep you updated on my workout. We are currently here at the post office where we're going to be jamming out country music. What's your name? What's your sign? What's your birthday? What's your wrist tattoo by the first day? Tell me this, do you kiss on the first day? Don't hold anything down. What's your dream job, girl? Where's your hometown? Yeah, what we'll makes your sure world spin around and around? And are you down to get out of here? Always gotta exit sideways. Problems of having a low car, semi low car, because we haven't lowered this car yet. Well, I've I have two layer, two lips on the car, so it definitely lowers the front end with the lip. But they're carbon fiber too, so we scraped it a couple of times. What's your name? What's your sign? What's your birthday? But we are currently here at the gym. So I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes. So we made it to the gym, guys. Those of you that know me, a couple of my friends know me, who goes to this gym together with me. This is my gym spot, my parking spot. I always park here because there's two columns here. So typically, no one parks. No one can park to me on that side because there's a wall. And then whoever parks on this side is far away now so that they don't hit my car. But I respect the Civic. Look at this. This is a sick, this is a sick windshield sticker. Just like, just like mine. BMW in the heart. Honda Civic in the heart. It's an SI too, so it's a six speed. You already know. Six speed gang out here. So today we're gonna to start off our workout. I always start off on ab days. I always start off doing abs. And like I said earlier, today's chest and try days. So I like to do a lot of exercises for abs. Not because if you do a lot of exercises for abs, you'll get abs or you'll get a six pack. Abs, the thing is everybody has abs. So everybody out there, everybody's born as everybody's born with a six pack the thing is whether they review or they show or not is how much layer of fat you have covering your abs so the most important thing is to get abs is your diet you know like they say abs are made in the kitchen not the gym it's very it's a very true statement so your diet controls most of your abs and then training abs abs just like everything else abs is a muscle group 
So just like every other muscle group, when you train it, the more you train it, the harder you get, and the more they will review. So I'm not saying that by training abs hardcore, you, you'll get abs, because obviously, if you train abs hardcore, hardcore at the gym, but you don't diet properly, you don't do any sorts of cardio, you're not burning that way, you're fat by not doing cardio, and you're not, you're gaining fat by not eating properly. So in order to get abs, it's a multi-step phase process. So you gotta have proper diet, you gotta train cardio. You gotta train cardio, cardio is a must. Everybody hates doing cardio. I personally, I, I grew up being a somewhat athletic kid. I played soccer ever since I was in seventh grade all the way to my senior year of high school. So I already somewhat had the athleticism in me, but I still hated to train cardio. So I hate running, I just absolutely hate it. But it's just something you have to do if you want, you want to have a nice physique. It's a sacrifice you gotta make. Um, and then, of course, training the abs in the gym will help you get there quicker. So, one of the exercises I like to start off with for abs is hanging, hanging knee ups. Then we do hanging leg raises. Then we do crunches, regular crunches on a mat lying down. Then we do leg lifts on a mat lying down. Then we do bicycles and then we finish it off with Russian twists. So I'm gonna show you right now the hanging leg lifts that I like to do. So I typically do four sets of 25. Ooh. Gotta make sure my phone doesn't fall out. I love my boots broken, I love my camo hat. Don't my little paint on my jeans, yeah, I roll like that. I love driving my... So those are the hanging regulars. Those are really good for your lower abs. Targets your lower abs. I do four sets of 25 of those. Typically all my abs exercises, I do four sets of 25. Um, and the thing is when you're training abs, when I'm training abs, I like to do my sets quickly. I don't take a lot of rest in between because abs recover a lot quicker than all your other muscle groups in your body. So I like to knock it out of the park. Just boom, 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 rapid, rapid pace. So that was actually my fourth set already of the hanging hanging knee up. So I'm going to show you right now the hanging leg lifts that I do. This is my first set. So for hanging leg lifts, it's a little bit harder. It's a little bit more challenging. So I actually don't do four sets of 25. What I do is I do four sets of 12 to 15 reps, depending if I can get it or not. Um, so let's hope I can do it without my phone falling out of my pocket because I usually wear wireless headphones. I have these wireless headphones that went for Bose. And I guess I forgot it, but thank God I still at least had some type of headphones because as all of you fitness people know, once you get to the gym and you don't have any headphones, it's just it's the worst thing that could possibly happen. So at least thank God I have these headphones. But what makes it more difficult is these pockets aren't that deep in these shorts, so I don't know if they're gonna fall, my phone's gonna fall out and I wanna do the hang leg lifts. So I guess you guys will be able to see. Those are a killer. So, what's important about these ab exercises is it's not how fast you do it. It's not based on the speed. It's based on the contraction. So, when you do the hanging knee ups or the hanging leg, leg lifts, you wanna make sure that you contract your abs as you're lifting your knee up or as you're lifting your leg up. Cause that contraction will work, will strictly work just your abs and make sure that the exercise you're doing is concentrated on your abs because you don't want to incorporate other like you don't want to when you're doing the hanging leg lifts you don't want to swing or anything because then you'll be incorporating your legs your back you'll be using the momentum to swing your legs up so it's not contracting it's not working your abs out just as much so 
Now we're moving on to our sit-ups. For the sit-ups, I like to do four sets of 25 because they're not that hard. But what you want to make sure is that you should come it up. So these are the leg lifts, and for the leg lifts I do 4 sets of 15, um, but what, what you want to make sure is when you're lifting the leg, you're contracting your core and all you're working is your core. So this is not that easy of an exercise, so when you start off you can do it by putting your hand on your butt and lifting up, but since I've been doing it for a while, once you do it for a while you get used to it, so I just put my hand like on my stomach or whatever. Because then, when, by doing that, it makes you contract the core even more. So, then you just lift up, slowly go down to get the contraction. And then, what I do is force up to 15. Yeah, you got every guy in here spinning around, spilling their beer. I bet you came out to have a good time. So, what you say we leave your friends with mine? The most important thing about that exercise is as you're lifting up, you contract your core and you slowly go down to have a little contraction as you're going down. And it really helps your core, it really helps your abs. It targets the lower abs mostly. And as you guys know, the lower abs are the hardest ab parts to train. The upper abs are easy, you can just do sit ups, you can do crunches, all sorts of things. But the lower abs is what a lot of people struggle with. And to be honest, I struggle with the lower abs too. So. Great exercise for the lower abs. So next up on the list is bicycles. And with this too, basically all the ab exercises, what you want to do is you want to make sure you take your time to track your abs. A lot of people do bicycles and they do it real quick thinking that it's going to work their abs out even more. But what they don't realize is they're not doing the correct form for it. They're not contracting their abs. So though it might be working your abs, it's not going to work as much as you you doing this slow and contracting. So for these, I do four sets of 25 as well. Just wanna see you shine. Girl, you take me higher. What I like to do is, once you come up, I like to touch, you know how when you do bicycles, you alternate it. So I like to touch the elbow with my knee to make sure that I'm going all the way up. So you just go, touch, 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 touch. And take your time doing it. Don't rush it because a lot of people rush it. And what they don't know is that actually hurts them even more than it does help them. So I can't find any medicine balls, weighted medicine balls, but I usually do these Russian twists with like a 12 pound, 15 pound weighted medicine ball. But that's all right. What you can do, you can just do it with your hands, but just make sure you go slow and you contract your obliques as you're doing it. So, girl, I'm glad you called. First heard you talk, took me a second because I couldn't hear you draw, and that don't sound like you. Oh, that don't sound actually. I just I just thought of an idea. So what you can do is if your gym doesn't have a weighted medicine ball, you can actually take a weighted plate. Obviously, I'm not going to take a 45 because that's, that's really heavy. But I'll probably take like a, a 25 pound plate and do it with the weighted plates. So now we're going to be moving on to my favorite. One of my favorite muscle groups are going to be training, which is chest. So I'm full sets of bench. What I do is I do a pyramid set. I actually got it from uh, Michael Sheet. Well, I do a pyramid set, so I go up the pyramid and then I go down the pyramid. So what we're gonna do is four sets. First set is 135 by 10. Second set is 185 by 10. Third set is 225 by 10. And then fourth set is 275 by 
two to four, depending on how I feel. And then we go down so that 225 by five is at that point I'm burnt out. 185 by 10 and 135 by 10. Um, what you want to make sure you do is always get your warm up in first. I already did my warm up, I did two sets with each on of 10. Because warming up is very important. You have the blood flow flowing and everything. So we'll do the first set 135 by 10. I don't know how much I'm about to get. It's 275. We're two for three, but we'll see. Man, that third rep was a killer. This is why you don't give up. Always push through, follow through your reps. One part of the move is that when you drop down, you know, what I do is set after set. So 225 straight to 185 straight to 135. The goal is to get 225 for 5, 185 for 10, and obviously 135 for 10. Then 135 I might go for like 12 to 15 reps since it's the last set. And it's a lot of my head. I was using my shoe for 135 to 15. At least I got 12, so I'm still satisfied with that. Thank <laughs> you. 
was made for me, and you were made for me. Do 
for triceps. Just pull down, where I do go down back in reverse. Pull the squeeze and concentrate that triceps even more. So what people don't understand is if you want big arms, you have to train triceps. People usually train biceps for a longer time. What they don't understand is triceps make up three fourths of your arms, or biceps only make up one fourth of it. So by training bi triceps, you're gonna get bigger arms. You're also gonna help your chest out. It's gonna help you increase your bench power, your incline bench power, incline dumbbells, flat bench dumbbells, all of that. Alrighty guys, so we wrapped up with the gym session, but I had to head over to BMW New Country here out in Hartford to grab some some parts. I gotta grab I grabbed some coolant, antifreeze, windshield washer fluid, and a gas treatment bottle because we're about to go on a road trip down to Florida. So I'll be vlogging that in a separate video. You guys will see the whole road trip, but take a look at this. 2019 BMW X7. We got the 5.0 series. So it's a 4.4 liter V8 twin turbocharged engine featuring my dad. MSRP 104 grand, $995. Look how beautiful this is. Beautiful dual screen display. You got digital dash everything. This is one remarkable, beautiful car with the shift knob. Looks like it's made of glass. Looks like a diamond. We got, we got the soft closed doors. Expected when you pay 105 grand. You got the upgraded Harman Kardon speakers. This is just a remarkable car. These massive 21 inch wheels. 285s in the front. Oh, 285s in the rear, too. Oh, that's right, it's an X drive, so it's a square setup. But look how beautiful the car is. Look how massive those grills are. Looks like it's gonna attack you. Alrighty guys, over here we have a beautiful 2019 M5 competition package. Look at that carbon fiber spoiler. Damn, this is beautiful. This is in the Tanzanite blue color. It's a really, really dark, rich blue color. Look at those rocker blades. The side skirt carbon fibers. Those are dollars $1,600. these aggressive wheels 285s in the rear drilled rotors BMW M performance brakes soft closed doors powering this is a 4.4 liter V8 twin turbocharged engine Got my boy Rashad over here. Lock me up garage. Give him a, a subscribe so. subscription. <laughs> Look at the interior of this car. This is insane. Digital dash. We have the white interior. 
M5 logo lights up and everything. Competition package so you get the M color seat belts. Look at the shift knob. This is ridiculous. Honestly, this car is just so comfortable. Sitting in it, everything about it is just so comfortable. Electronic telescope steering wheel. Man. Got the Harman Kardon upgraded speakers. It's just one absolute stunning car. It'll have you speechless. Out here we have a beautiful 2019 M550i. Take a look at those carbon fiber splitters and front lip. This car is absolutely beautiful. We have the blue with brown interior. We got a carbon fiber mini spoiler as well as a carbon fiber diffuser. Look how mean these exhaust pipes look. M550. Such a beautiful car. Guys, we were walking up to, in my opinion, BMW's flagship coupe vehicle. We have the brand new M850i. My favorite drop top convertible. Look at those exhaust. This is the best color combination you can possibly get black on red. We have 2019.